The only suspicious thing is that it's not very deep. But looks like a coin. What is it? Hang up 24. Good morning guys, Unfrequented World, and we are at a picnic site today. I've been here before, I found one silver, but I think the Knox might cut through some of the garbage. It was a pretty trashy site, so we're going to try it for an hour. And uh, multitasking today, doing multiple videos, so lots of things on the go. We're going to spend an hour here. Unless I find something, then we'll spend more time, but let's give it a shot. Okay, so I've left the picnic area. You can see an opening way over there. That's the picnic area. And I just uh, started coming through the bush. It was open. And we know that highway was put in in the 1930s, so I thought maybe people would have camped here in these openings. And there's a bit of a sand pit, so you never know how many years ago, who was in here, when and what. So I'm detecting all these open spots. And I turn around, and I see something in the tree over here. I don't know what it is. Somebody's lunch. <laughs> oh yeah, look. Somebody forget their lunch when they were here hunting? I don't know why they would be here hunting. We're not a hundred yards off the highway. Oh, I bet you I know what that is. I bet you that's a geocache. Yeah. I'm... Yeah, that's what that's gonna be. I see a notepad in there. Okay, yep, yeah, some pens. Really? A pine cone? That's the best you could come up with? You're supposed to leave something when you find these <laughs> geocaches. Ha! Well, I've got something. Just dug that five minutes ago. There you go. I guess I'll sign the book too. Oh, don't be so cheap, Mr. Reed. Can leave a few pennies for the kitties. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Unfrequented World found your geocache, left you a couple of goodies, and signed your book. Okay, there's half an hour of my life I'll never get back. I had ten pennies, one sinker, and this. The sinker and this were both Curiosity Digs 17 and 19. The rest rang up 24 or better. So, loving the uh, trash um, discrimination on this machine. Okay, so I've made a pit stop. This place wasn't even on my radar. This is our family property here that we own, 160 acres. It was my great-grandfather's farm. And I haven't really thought about it in over a year. We have metal detected this, but only with the Bounty Hunter Land Ranger Pro. The old house was back here in this opening, and it's right full of nails and junk and crap, and I didn't find anything good. I also know there's a trail past that green building back there, and my dad was here telling me one day, that's where Grandma had the garden. So. Maybe today, I'm just going to take another half hour, an hour here, and try this again with the Knox. See if we can discrim out some of those nails and other garbage. And then maybe we'll go see if we can find that garden. So my grandfather told me when he was a kid that him and his brother used to hide their money in cans. And he said, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't find them all. So that's why I've been here a couple times, but it's just such a trashy sight that... Uh, and everything's overgrown, as you can see behind me. Those weeds are over my head, so I don't know if we can get to where the garden was. We'll have to stomp everything down if we do, but, you know, and I know there's truth to that too because my great uncle lived here until, you know, maybe 15 years ago, uh, and when he died, my dad found cans of money. <laughs> yeah, so he uh, didn't, didn't, still didn't believe in the bank up until the end of his days, so... And uh, my grandpa laughed. He said, there's cans of money there somewhere. So, hey, I would love to find even old pennies, man. I'll take it if I could find it. Solid 24.
Bet you my dad was looking for that. The old place has lots of potential, that's for sure. I always felt that around those trees, if I was a kid, right, the house was right here, you'd probably pick a tree that you could remember and hide your stuff under. I have gone around those before with the bounty hunter. We're going to do it again with the Knox. I almost feel like it's it's like cheating with the Knox. Second hole, and there's a coin right there. So, I mean, it's yet, yeah, it's just a modern penny, but... It's weeding out. This whole place is full of nails from the old house, square nails, that ring up just like coins on the Garrett and the Bounty Hunter. That's right. Right around the base of these big old trees. We're going to get right in here. If I was a kid, that's where I'd hide my money jar. Maybe that'd be too obvious, though. Then they'd be fighting over each other's money jars. I don't know. Pretty quiet, not a beep anywhere. So in the 1970s, my great uncle would have built a couple of sheds here on the property. And he moved all my great grandfather's tools and stuff into the sheds. Well, last winter we had so much snow, my dad was telling me that one of the sheds finally collapsed. So my dad took everything out that was good. This is all modern junk that he left behind. And there's a lot of junk I can see. I mean, some of it's still good. Hey, there's a big old heavy jack. I've always wanted to know what's under these floorboards. What did he hide under there? Well, that's what's under them floorboards. Dirt. But I actually see an iron rod or something right here that's under the floor, so... I'm going to throw this out of the way and take a look over there where it's a little deeper. See if there's any cans. Probably going to get my face gnawed off by a raccoon or something. Hello. Ooh, is that a can? What is that? <laughs> Wishful thinking is what that is, I think. <laughs> Yuck. Hard to see in there. That's the inside to a crown mason lid. I'm going to take that. I don't want to get my hopes up. This looks like a coin. A coin, I don't know what it is. The only suspicious thing is that it's not very deep. But looks like a coin. What is it? Hang up 24. Oh, it's really light. Like a token or something. Good for six cents with two quart bottles. Now here's the interesting part. My dad told me that my family came out of Hamilton. And look on the back of this. I'm going to have to show my dad this. Right here. A.G. Bain and Company Groceries Wines Liquors Hamilton, Ontario. My dad's gonna love that. That's family history right there. Well, the last token I found had more value than a silver coin. Apparently they're worth like 20 bucks to a collector. So I'll have to do some research and see what this is, how rare it is, and if it's worth anything. It's going in my book anyway. <laughs> I'm not selling it, but eh, it's nice to know put a value on it. Okay, last stop of the day. This is the uh, Vets Club. So I got a pretty big field here that I've been over. I found some 40s pennies in that. Uh, the important thing was that there was a one-room schoolhouse uh, in the 40s that my grandfather went to. The house we were just doing is just up the road half a mile. Here's the old apple tree. One of them. Right there. So somewhere in there was the schoolhouse. I was told it's behind the uh, new building, so... 
Can't really swing in there too much, I don't think. Maybe we'll try, I don't know. <laughs> that would be cool if we could get in there, but we'll uh, at least try this field here with the Knox, because I've never done it with the Knox, so let's try it. That's right, that is what you are. What is that? I don't think there's any writing on it. It's heavy. It's got to be lead, I guess. I don't know. I'm going to brush it off. I don't think there's any writing or anything. I don't know. Such a scratches, or is there some kind of writing on there? And it's not lead. I don't know what this is. I don't have my brush. I lost my brush somewhere. Look at this thing. It's got a like a rim on it. I'm keeping it. I don't know what it is. That's it. This machine is friggin' crazy. This yard here, the Vets Club, has been home to every drinking binge since 1937 in this community. And the bottle caps ring up exactly like coins. Uh, the Garrett and my Land Ranger Pro. Um, I got an ant under my watch, it's biting me. Ah, oh, hold on. I uh, just pulled a silver out of an ant hole here, <laughs> is what's going on. Um, yeah, it's like cheating with this machine. I'm not getting any bottle caps, I'm not getting any nails. <sighs> See? They're all over me! Okay, I gotta get up. <laughs> Jeez, son of a... I just found this ant hill. They look kind of aggressive. I just found this ant. Wonder if it hurts if I put my hand in it. Look at these little. There's a million of them there. Jeez. And in there is, I'm pretty sure, a silver dime. Oh, yeah. Look at that. 1955 Canada Silver. It's like shooting fish in a barrel with this machine, guys. I love it! <laughs> you just can't... I can't do these places with either the Garrett, Land Ranger, or the Macro. So, I now i got to do this whole field, because God knows what's here. That thing bit me like six times on the wrist. 1945. Okay, so I'm just going to show you guys the amazing discrimination on this machine. I would not be able to cover this patch of ground, which is somebody has taken the fire pit and dumped the stuff here. And if we look, there's pieces of aluminum, there's cans, there's uh, balls of tin foil full of uh, charcoal, and I don't even know, piece of an axle, whatever that is, all kinds of stuff. My other machines would overload on that. Like you wouldn't even be able to swing anywhere near that. That's Cruiser, Garrett AT Pro, and Bounty Hunter uh, Land Ranger Pro as well. Watch this machine. So we are on field two. So it is picking up all the individual stuff. 12s, 15s, 11s. Tin foil over there. But it is not overloading. And it's not giving any false signals. 1946. There's got to be more of them here. More silvers. 1952. That's not so exciting. But look what was in the hole beside it. I haven't even looked yet. That is silver. And I knew it was silver. Rang up solid 28. Yeah, yeah, that's a Georgie. So that's going to be 40-something. Ah, look at that. 52. 52 penny and a 52 dime. Obviously dropped at the exact same time. I just, I can't tell you guys how good this machine is on silver. I know you see it in the other videos all the time, but I just, I got to say it. It's freaking amazing. Well, there it is, guys. Another day's digging. Um, all from sites that I've covered with the other machines. Uh, you know, two silver dimes, the aluminum token, 
which I have to research. The unknown lead, I don't know what that is, and a handful of 1940s and 50s pennies, and one inside of a mason jar. So a very good day if I do say so myself. So I just wanted to mention as well that in the last five outings, I have dug more silver than I did all summer with the other machines. And we're going over the same places that have been beat to death. Uh, I've done every site today with my other machines. So I think I'm at five or six silver coins, uh, three or four old largies, uh, one silver ring. I'm, I'm just killing it in spots that we've already been over a million times. So I am sold. 150 videos I've made for you guys, more than that. And I'm ready to shine on the dotted line. Mine Lab, where is my sponsorship? I'm ready. I think I am now a Mine Lab guy. I'm sold on this machine. It is the cat's ass. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video.